there, thanks for stopping by my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Prima Liquid Concentrated Watercolors. Um, there are 18 new colors for this, I'm assuming they'll probably come out with some more in the future. But I love all the Prima paint palettes I have, so I thought I would go ahead and pick up this set of the new um, concentrated watercolors. I think they'd be perfect for watercoloring, and I'd also like to um, start doing some decorative writing or calligraphy, so I'm going to use it for that. I did pick up three of these sets, one for me and two extras, so if you're interested in picking those up at a discount, you will get all 18 colors. I'll put a link down in the description box. But we're going to swatch them first in my um, Strathmore 140 pound watercolor um, journal. And I went ahead and made a cute little chart there in my journal, um, and then I wrote the name of each of the, the watercolors at the top, so of course later when I look back through I will be able to um, see what color they were. And this makes it easy for me too, um, if I want to see what color I want to use, to just look at the book. Sometimes when you have the bottles or the, the paints in the pan, they don't really show what color they are. So making a swatch is definitely an easy way for you to just look back and say, hey, I really want to use sea green. Um, this set of watercolors comes with um, three neutral tones. So you've got Onyx Wood and Cafe there. So it'd be great for um, wood, you know, outlines and backgrounds and stuff like that, wood, trees. And then there's three greens. You've got Lucky, Sea Green, and Tree. And then you've got a couple of blue greens, Vacation and Emerald. And then you've got blues, three blues. You're going to have Truth, Clarity, and um, Bora. I, forgot, I couldn't see it there. And then you have two purples, or one dark purple, Mystic. And then you're going to have kind of like a, that one, Diva, is kind of a purplish pink. And then next to it, Candy is pink. And then you have a couple reds. You've got fire brick and orange red. And then you're going to follow that up with orange, which is tangerine, and then a yellow, which is the taxi. Um, they all went down great onto the paper. I think that they're going to be fabulous for painting with. Um, they're super easy, and they if you add more water, they do dilute out so that you can have um, a little bit lighter color. So now we're going to do a couple of projects. So here I've gotten out my alt new beautiful day stamp set. I stamped my image um, and heat embossed it on some Arches 140 pound cold press paper. And what I'm doing is I'm getting the little um, petals wet. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to just drop some of the Diva color onto my palette or onto my wetted um, cardstock there and just let it spread out. And then I'll come back with my um, wet paintbrush and kind of wipe it around a little bit so that it will cover up more of the area. It went on perfectly and I loved how it feathered out when you dropped it into the water and it just made that beautiful feathery design. You could definitely add um, some more color in there and make it darker. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to color our leaves in. And I did the same thing. I got the leaves wet and then I'm just dropping some of that liquid watercolors into my leaf area. I started out with sea green and it's a nice light greenish yellow color. I love it. That's going to be one of my favorites. I'm sure of it. And then after I get that all on there, I'm going to go back in. After I spread it out a little bit, I'm going to go back in. I'm going to add some tree on top of that to add some shadows. And again, I'm just going to drop it in. So I'm just kind of dabbing my brush up and down where I want to add some color, and I'm letting the water carry that color out into the rest. I'm not going to wipe it around, I'm just going to let it do its own thing. Now I've decided I'm going to go in and I'm going to get my flower wet again, and I'm going to go in and I'm going to add some of that pink candy color over the top, and then I'm just again letting that spread out so it's kind of filling in the leaves there, or the petals as it goes. And I'm trying to keep the color more towards the bottom of the petals, the bottom side of the, the picture so that they're darker. And the purple is going to be more towards the top. And here I'm adding a little bit more of that um, Diva color in to darken up some of those purple colors. And then I'm going to go back in and use my just some wet um, water on my brush and kind of spread it out just a little bit. adding just a little bit of shadows in there. But I want the top of the flower to be lighter than the bottom of the flower, so that's what we're going to go with. And I just continually go back, and I like how the, the paper's not drying that fast, so I can go back in and just add more of my ink right on top and see how beautiful it was. It just blooms right away from wherever I dropped it and makes these beautiful little feathers inside the paint or inside my petals there. I really like how that turned out. 
Now I decided my leaves weren't dark enough, so I'm going in and I'm adding a second coat of sea green. And then I'm gonna drop a little bit more of my tree on top of my dark areas, just to darken those up a little bit. Kind of make them stand out a little bit more. Because remember, once it dries, it's gonna be a lot lighter than it is when you first start out. But I liked how in the end, the picture, the color stayed pretty vibrant. I really like that. Here I'm just adding a little bit more of my pink towards those bottom petals because those are going to be the most shadowed. So I'm filling them in so that they're a lot darker. And I'm going to do a few of these little purple ones so that, of course, they will be a little bit darker too. Definitely get them towards the center there so that we'll be, um, have it, it's kind of closed there in the center. So then I decided that I was gonna need um, something around the outside. So I'm just getting my paper wet and I switched to a number eight brush that holds a lot of water. And I'm just going in with some of the onyx that I put a bunch of water in the, my little palette there with it. So it's pretty diluted and I'm just going around the whole flower and making a little background for that. I tried to make it a little bit darker by adding extra in between the leaves and underneath the flower, but I kept it pretty light up here towards the top. And there I'm letting the, I had a lot of water on there, so I'm letting it run down and then I dried my brush off and grabbed some of that up with my brush. Add a little bit in here, get that darkened up a little bit more. And again, see that big put puddle of water? I just wiped it up with my brush. And then I had this giant line at the top, so I just went in with some water and I kind of spread it out so that it faded out into white. And I'm darkening up a few of these little shaded the areas underneath the flower and along the, the leaves so that it'd be a little bit darker. So now we're going to use the same flower, but we're going to paint it with um, orange red and taxi. So I'm going in and I got the whole flower soaking wet with a bunch of water first, and I'm just dropping the water or the paint right on top of it. And there I made a little boo-boo. So I went ahead and I got it wet and I'm just using my paper towel to dab it up and there was no ink left. I just dabbed it on there and it picked up the ink that ran out of where I didn't want it. So now I'm adding a little bit of my orange red to give the flower some orangish red colors. And then I decided that wasn't gonna spread enough for me. So I went back in with my giant wet paintbrush and spread it around. And there I had a whole bunch of water. So I just dabbed it up with my paper towel and I'm coming back and adding some more of that yellow. But the embossing made it super easy to just splash water on there and then dump the paint, the liquid colors right on top of it. Here we're gonna color our leaves and for our leaves today, we're going to use, for this one anyway, we're gonna use Lucky. So we're just jobbing that, got them wet, and drop some ink right onto the water and it spreads out all by itself. I didn't use the end of my paintbrush to kind of get closer to the edges because I got a little crazy there and there. See, I went out of the lines. I just got it wet with some water and dabbed it up with my paper towel and it came up just fine. Here we go, we're gonna do the other leaves, same thing. We're just gonna drop some color on there and then let it dry. All in all, I'm really liking how these turned out. I can't wait to try using them for doing some some um, some lettering or stuff like that. And I, I think I'll try it maybe out this week in my Bible journaling. I think that would be really pretty. So here we're going in and I'm gonna just darken up some of my petals. I'm putting some of that orange red on some of the bottom petals so that they will be um, have more shadows on them. And the paper's getting dry now. So if I forget to get the petal wet, the ink will just sit where I put it. So let's see if we can come to one here where it's not gonna move around. All those are still pretty damp. I got those pretty wet. Now we're gonna add a little bit of yellow still. I'm so gonna taxi, I guess it's called taxi, and we're putting that on top of there. And a few of the petals I didn't get to the end, so I made sure to wipe them out towards the edge. And then I got impatient, so I went ahead and dried it with my heat tool because you know I don't wanna wait forever for that. So we're just gonna give it a quick dry. And then we're probably going to give it a little bit of a background. So for a background, again, I'm just going around the petal and I'm gonna get it wet with just water. And this time we're gonna use um, wood. So it's just gonna give it a little bit of a brown um, tone. Nope, I think that was cafe, sorry about that. So this is a cafe color and we're just gonna go around all the petals and all the leaves and we're gonna add some of this brown in there to give it a little bit of a shadow. So it doesn't look like it's just sitting there and there's nothing around it. I don't like it. I didn't like how that looked. 
So we're gonna go ahead and add some more water. And again, I'm trying to keep it darkest um, underneath the leaves and towards the bottom of the flower. And up here at the top, I'll try to add just a little bit, but then let it spread out and lighten up. And I was tipping the paper there to see how much water I had on there. And then I'm gonna use just water to make it move out here towards the outside. And I'm just kind of letting it float down and see how much water's blobbing up there. So I'm just using my dry brush to grab that up. So there's our flowers. So here we go as the cards, I finished them up. I just mounted them on a piece of um, heavyweight cardstock and then I stamped the sentiment that was in the beautiful day stamp set. Um, nothing fancy, but I added some um, little sequins there on the thing and I actually had to add those because when I was cutting out the, the cardstock pieces I accidentally cut the orange piece, the orange flower, up there at the top towards the sentiment. I gave it a little nick with my chopper. So I'm like, oh that's great, I did all this work, now what am I going to do? So I went ahead and just stuck it down with some foam tape and then I put that sequins right over that little line that I cut into my card and it's still perfect. I'm going to send it to somebody and I'm hoping they will not notice that there's just a little bit of a cut in it. So anyway, I hope you had fun reviewing the new Prima liquid concentrated watercolors. Don't forget I'll put a link to the supplies down in the description box in case you'd like to grab those two extras I picked up. If you have a question, leave me a comment down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and um, hit the little be bell next to it so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. On this screen here, there will be a couple of videos I thought you might be interested in watching. So anyway, I hope you're having a fabulous day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!